I'm going to insert this at the beginning of the video even though it is the next day of after the reading rush has completed because I wanted to talk about this video before you actually get to watch it. If you haven't seen anything, where have you been? But several things have unfolded with the reading rush regarding the hosts and certain things that they did and etc etc and uh, I already tweeted about it but I have decided that after this video I will not no longer be posting or talking about the reading rush in any way shape or form I will not par be participating in any future years that is how I'm going about it I am still posting this video because I do like what I did with it. I enjoyed that I had a good time even though it ended terribly and all of the mistakes over the last two years which made me feel uncomfortable got finally pointed out and that other people are feeling uncomfortable I was like, okay I'm not the only one, there's obviously a problem here. The way that things were handled and they weren't handled well. So I just wanted to say that, like I will not be doing any more which is great because the two readathons that I really participated in were the Hogwarts themed one and the Reading Rush and both of them this year have fallen through which I will talk about the newts next month but I will not be talking about the Reading Rush anymore but please enjoy this video and all the work and effort I put into it as I did. There will not be a wrap up. All the books that I read for The Reading Rush will just be mentioned and talked about in my July wrap up. I will not do a wrap up, which I said I would do at the end of yesterday, and then everything kind of crashed and burned. I would also like to note that I ordered the journal and I still have not received it. So, just commenting on that. Enjoy the video. Hi, uh, this is the start of a new vlog. It's gonna be really weird. Um, it's Friday, <clears throat> day five. Uh, I'm gonna go quickly. I'm going to do the Instagram challenge. I'm going to pick up Cursed today, and then I am turning off my phone and I'm not gonna talk to anybody. Uh, I'm having a really bad anxiety day. I'm not gonna film anything. I'm like literally shaking. I've been shaking since I woke up about an hour ago. And I'm just gonna read and try to be productive and not have my phone on. That's my plan. Do I do a self-care activity? I probably should. Um, but I might not film it because I literally, I cannot today. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a big sign from the universe apparently. It's a big burning bowl ritual. If I could burn things, I would. I might. We'll see what happens. I I just need to read today and take my mind off of everything, so that's what I will do. Hope you're all having a better day than I am. It's Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday. I forgot Saturday existed. I never clued in that yesterday was Friday. Yeah, it, it's been weird. I feel a little bit better. Not completely 100%. Um did some retail therapy, will not lie about that. Got some actual sleep last night, which was better. I mean, not great. I woke up at 8 a.m., which is not great when you go to sleep at 2.30. But I was productive yesterday, and that is what mattered. I made four her posts, which was, on top of that, three other posts. I was like, doing the most. So today, I think I'll continue working on my witch Instagram. I'll be a thing. I'm not making a to-do list, but that's the plan for today. And then I'm gonna finish Cursed. I got to page 316, and I had a feeling that I was going to suffer through this. <laughs> not because I don't like it, but I'm not in the mood for this story right now. I should have just changed it when I did my TBR, but I, I wanted to stick with it, but I'm almost done, like, there's only like 100 pages left, or less than 100 pages, I think. Yeah, there's like 84 pages, no, 87 pages left, I think it's 87, that would be great. So I'm really close to finishing that, and then it is actually sunny and nice out today, so I'll try to read Deadly Class outside, 
and then I will attempt to be more productive like I was yesterday because that put me in a better mood actually getting stuff done um, and I will keep my phone on silent I literally turned off my Wi-Fi yesterday because I was like I don't want any of this I might do that for part of today we'll see what happens also today I will make a good sleep jar I did not do my burning bowl ritual uh, at some point in the n near or future, within like the next couple months, I probably should. So we'll try and see what my terror or my or my self care. What am I doing today? I literally suck at shuffling. Yeah, I'm sure some of these have never been shuffled before because I literally suck so bad. It says connect with fire, which. I could do a personal purification that involves a candle that might help a little bit, um, but also the burning bowl ritual. I'm going to have to do it outside. I'm going to have to get creative. We'll see what happens. Something involving fire today, because apparently I need that, which is okay. I connect with fire a lot. I connect with the sun a lot, which is why, ooh, Instagram challenge talk. Today is your reading fuel, and I was like, we should just walk down to Sobeys and get cupcakes and then find a book cover that matches the cupcakes, and then I'll post a really cute photo. That's my idea. So, anyways, so I talked about my reading plans, my witchy stuff, I'm making a spell jar today, and then self-care. Sounds pretty good to me. Let's get started. <laughs> cursed could not tell you what that book is about I literally have no idea I don't know what happened yeah I was like not into it at all that's okay uh, I started reading Romanov last night I got to chapter 14 which is page 142 so I have this much left which I'm like there's so much left I'm like what's gonna happen I know the story like I don't know what actually happened I do know that they were all executed in real life because it's not like the movie Anastasia, <laughs> unfortunately. And then this, this one, there's like a hint of romance and a hint of like magic and I'm, I'm into it. So we will see what happens. I am very much enjoying this book. 
and I still have to read Deadly Class today because it's the last day and that's all I have. For the Instagram challenge today, it is artwork and I think I'm going to do my makeup to match a book cover because um, that was a ch video challenge last year and I did really well um, and I want to take a picture with like the book right here and then that's basically the profile picture I have here on YouTube and on my Instagram. So I want to do that but with like a funky makeup look and I think I might do if I have enough green do the hand on the wall that would look really funky like with cool makeup yeah this might be it other than that oh self-care card what was yesterday oh yesterday's connection with fire I did have a candle lit for the video so does that count I hope it counts oh I'm really hungry I need to eat breakfast I haven't even had a coffee yet and I'm like this full of energy. What is happening to me? Uh, what else is there? I am going to be doing a house cleanse today. That needs to happen. So, mm. dream journal. Let me just tell you, I have been dreaming about living in the forest and there was something else. It's not like necessarily I've been dreaming about things in general. I've been just dreaming about locations and places like I would like to be. I think I dreamt about the ocean a little bit. It's just like places I want to be basically. So we could, ooh, you know what I have. Let's take a quick peek into the journal, or no, the dream dictionary. Um, I want to do forest first because that's the only one that I really remember. So the witchcraft thing, and if you're looking at the occult in a positive way and you have knowledge of them, Maybe urging you to apply awareness and sense of mystery and wonder to the life of your everyday situation. That's kind of where my thing is. Oh, dreams about the woods. I looked up forest, wasn't there? Feeling lost and unable to find the direction in life. That sounds about right. So, thanks. This thing is too real. Whenever <laughs> I read it, I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not gonna put this back up yet, but okay. Dream journal, so that's basically my dreams. I've been lost in the wilderness. <laughs> I need to go eat some breakfast and have some coffee. And I will update you later. I did it. <laughs> I finished Romanov like 4 p.m. Why am I so close? And then I was in the car and I read half of Deadly Class. And then I read the other half and downstairs because I was like, I'm reading outside of my room and that's different. Um, and I just finished it. I, um, I don't think I've ever made myself suffer so much during a readathon. <laughs> I'll say that right now. But thank you for joining me. It's been a good week. I've been very productive. I know there was like two days where I was super off. Still not 100% over my anxiety that has been happening um, but I think that all of the self-care activities kind of showed me what I needed to do and I will continue with that but I was really productive with my witch Instagram I posted every day for the whatchamacallit the Instagram challenges so I did all that back to regularly scheduled hosting I have big plans for August for my YouTube channel more witchy videos more book videos. We are now a hybrid account with both. I just noticed my shadow and that freaked me out a little bit. And it's gonna be good. I'm very excited for this. Oh no! I need to water my plant. He's so sad. What happened sir? I'm gonna go water my plants and I will see you all in the wrap-up video to give you my complete thoughts of everything. I hope you all had a great reading rush and I will see you in the next video. Bye.